So to record, uh, sorry, to um, to add shares to your IMG Soldivo na band fund, um, you can click here from your dashboard. So you just need to view portfolio, okay? And make sure that you have um, the bank accounts of IMG. Kasi lahat po ng ating top-ups here sa Soldivo funds will be coursed through the IMG bank accounts. Okay, so if you do not have the IMG bank accounts, please ask your SMD to give you the list of IMG bank accounts na pwede, sa kung saan pwede kayong mag-deposit ng additional subscriptions ninyo. Okay? So, dito po, if you want to top up sa inyong Soldivo Strategic Growth Fund, you can click on the view details. Okay? And then, you will have an option to add subscription. So, pwede kayo mag-add subscription. Pag nag-add kayo ng subscription, it will take you to the kiosk 2. Okay? Ayan. So, please note that you need to have your agent code ready, which is the same as your member code. So, search nyo po yung code ninyo until your name pops up. So, in my case, that is the, my code. And then, ayan. Ayan po yung pangalan ko. So, click on that. And then, choose the fund. Kung anong fund ang gusto mong uh, dagdagan. Okay, so let's say you want to add to ito, Saldivo Strategic Growth Fund. Say you want to add 2,000. Okay, so next. Ayan, signature is required. So, meron pong signature space na kailangan po kayong mag-require, uh, require, na kailangan po kayong magdagdag. So, sa lahat po, each and every time you top up on your mutual fund, you need to um, sign on this one. Acceptance of terms and conditions. Ayan. So, basahin niyo po siya if it's the first time that you're gonna be reading it and topping up. And then, um, mag-sign mag lang po kayo. No? So, just using your mouse. Ayan. So, effort po siya. <laughs> but, uh, Okay, so say, yan. Okay, then next. Ayan. And then, you will be asked no, to put in your first name, your last name, and then your email. So, okay, ko yung email ko. Okay. And then, you choose kung ano yung payment, saan ka magbabayad, anong form, or saan payment option ang gusto mo. So, say for example, you choose this one, remittance or bank deposit because i online transfer mo siya sa IMG na bank account. You have other options here, ha? So, pwede pong magpalawan express or magpay sa cashier. It actually, wag ka na magpay sa cashier sa ngayon, no? Pero this is an option for you as well. And then, we have the bank deposit. So, ito yung usual option natin ngayon, which is the bank deposit or the bank transfer. So, if you click on that, Ayan. So, lalabas po yung iyong details and how much yung kailangan mong bayaran. And then, just complete no, what, whatever it is na details na hiningi nila. Okay? So, actually, yung iba, halos hindi na rin nila to kinukompleto. No? Uh, but they, you need to put something in here kasi para mag-proceed yung iyong order. Okay? Ayan. And don't forget to click the payment method. Ayan. And then, mag next step ka. Once you complete everything, you check everything is correct. Next step. And then, you choose no, kung saan bank ka mag -de deposit So, depende kung ano yung option mo. Okay? So, in, my, in our case, di ba, we chose na bank transfer siya. So, since ang usual ko na bank is BPI, I will choose BPI and I will select. So, don't forget to print this out. If you can print it out, better. But if you cannot print it out, what's important is you take note of the transaction reference number. Okay? Important to kasi ito yung ginagamit natin to match the transaction with the payment. So, 
you have to take note of this one in case na we need to follow it up. No? Kasi minsan, um, may mga delay sa pag-process and we need this transaction reference number. It's important to take note of this. So, it's 610D2HC. Okay? So, remember also kung ano yung transaction na yun. Right? But definitely, you will also receive this in your email. Um, when you receive it sa email mo, you can keep it or you can just make a note of it in your notebook or kung saan. No? And um, note it down lang po until na ma-approve yung payment mo. Okay? So, once you receive this, no, you get an email and then if you already made the deposit, you can click on this one. You click here to send us the proof of payment for verification. So, if you made the deposit already, so, i-click nyo lang po yan siya, and then you will be brought to um, the details for the payment verification. So, make sure that you have a copy of the deposit slip, either a picture of the deposit slip, or a screenshot of the online payment that you made to the IMG bank account. Okay? So, if you have that, um, already, you can click here to send the proof of payment. And then, if you verify pa po yun ni IMG until it is approved. Okay, so when you click here, you will be asked for the details. The day that you paid it, anong banko, um, and then yung time na binayad mo, and then you will be asked to upload the picture or the screenshot of your deposit. Okay? Tapos, isubmit niya po yun siya lahat and then your payment will be for verification. So, you need to wait a few days, no? Um, these days, it has already been, um, siguro, give yourself a, a little bit more time, no? Siguro mga two weeks, three weeks before siya ma-approve. So, once na na-approve na po yan, that's the time na mag-reflect siya sa inyong portal. So, if hindi pa po siya nagre-reflect, make sure po that you keep the receipts, no, the screenshots of the payments that you made um, for your records lang din. Okay, to make sure that you can track your investments. Kasi um, this, yung sa IMG nga po, we are DIY, no, DIY tayo, do-it-yourself um, na financial um, system. So, um, kaya nag educate tayo ng mga tao so that they can learn to do it themselves. So, we need to keep a record of all of our transactions. Okay? So, that's good practice po. Ayan. So, I hope nasagot po yung question nyo, Ma'am Lolit. Meron ka bang gustong idagdag, Rish? Wala na.